Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So, continuing with our Bubble Wonder Abyss solutions, we're going to Oh So Hard for this version of the algorithmic solution. So, like, not so easy, we got two different grid layouts. Let's start with this one. So, this one works exactly the same way as the not so easy solution. This, if you send Zumbinis this way, we've got one trait that will allow them to live, and if we send them the other way, that trait is going to die. So, all spiky here, guys, on this side. However, unlike Not So Easy, you've got to space them out. If you just send these as fast as you can, they're all going to pop each other's bubbles and they're going to die. Which nobody wants. So we're going to wait a little bit in between each spiky here guy that we send over. We'll wait till he reaches that junction before sending the next one. And that should hopefully be enough time. Yeah. It's cutting it a little close, but... Don't send them any earlier than at that point. And I believe that was the last spiky-haired guy. So now if we look at the other direction, we once again have a split. If it's a spiky-haired guy, regardless of which way they're going in the split, they're going in the vortex. If they go up, normal-eyed guys are going to die. If we go down, glasses are going to die. So we're going to do glasses, normal eyes, glasses, normal eyes. And... Let's see. Well... The guy who goes down is going to have a lot longer to go through. So we're going to do glasses first and normalize right after that. And then we're going to wait a bit before we send the next ones over. Oh, I hope I didn't screw that up. That would be the worst if I screwed that up. <laughs> if I send the Zuminis too fast, like, no one will ever let me live that down. <laughs> Look, oh, remember that time I already totally screwed everything up? Oh, yeah, everyone remembers that. That was the most momentous day in America's history. I know nobody actually thinks that, but this is what my mind tells me at times. <laughs> I feel like this is what a lot of people's mind tells them at some times, where you just stay up in the middle of the night, like, you're like, you're trying to go to sleep, it's like, hey, remember that really embarrassing thing you did, like, 20 years ago that literally nobody remembers? Yeah. You'll never forget that. And much like Not So Easy, we just, once we run out of one trait, we can use any other Zumbini. So, for example, we ran out of normal eyed guys. Doesn't matter, we can just swap them with any other type of eyes Zumbinis. That did not make sense. I can't talk today. And all of a sudden, I'm from Boston. I like how the music also subtly changes on each difficulty. That's very nice. That Zumbini's tired of life. We'll help him out. Or her out. Ponytail. Or I guess it could be a dude. I've not seen many dudes with ponytails, but I mean, whatever, free country. Unless you don't live in America, in which case you might not live in a free country. My apologies to anybody who does not live in a free country. And yeah, that's one of the two different grid layouts you can get. And what's kind of amazing is this, is, this grid layout was hardly any harder than... Not so easy. All you have to do is be a little more careful with your timing. And you're you're fine besides that, so... <laughs> well, I wonder what the other grid layout's gonna be like, eh? That'll be interesting. Let's find Whoa! out. Yep, this is the other grid layout, and this is completely, utterly, totally different than the other grid layout. The last grid layout was pretty easy, this one is a lot harder. There's only one way to go, but this introduces our gust to color switches. Fun! Very fun. So if we start, we send green guys up. If they have roller skates, they're gonna go this way. They'll go to the exit, but if they have a blue nose, they're gonna go up and hit the green switch along the way. If they have an orange nose, well, as of right now, they're gonna fall into the vortex. Otherwise, they can make it through, but only if we send a purple nosed guy. If they don't have roller skates and they go up, they're all going to die. So let's start by trying to hit that yellow switch, because if that yellow switch changes, the only thing that's gonna change is Zuminis aren't gonna go into the vortex to pass over it. So let's find trying to. Alright, you've got roller skates. And you've got a purple nose. Let's send you up. <laughs> so you're gonna go that way. Now we've got a roller skates guy with an orange nose that we can send over now. And remember, any roller skating zoombinis that don't have those covered noses are free to go whenever they don't. Well, please. 
as long as we make sure that they're not needed, needed elsewhere. And on this difficulty, they're not. Which means you, Zumbinis with roller skates and red noses, you can go across and claim your brand new car. Now we've got one roller skating Zumbini left. She is going to be our savior and change the switcher on this, which will let us save our non roller skating Zumbinis. Alright, so now we are out of roller skates, so that does not matter. Right now, if we send a Zumbini and it goes down, if they have a purple nose, they're falling in the vortex. If they don't, they get to go to the end. Whereas if we send them this way and they have a blue nose, they're going to die. But if they don't, they go through. So we're going to alternate blue nose, purple nose, blue nose, purple nose. Purple nose. And I'm going to wait a little bit because that Zumbini has to go through a longer track than this Zumbini. All right, you can go. And now you can go. We can send them really quickly across because she's going to reach it faster than that guy, but we have to wait after the second Zumini you send. Alright. So yeah, this is completely different of a grid layout compared to the other one on this difficulty, which is kind of interesting. I, can't, I wonder why they did that, to be perfectly honest. Because this seems... I mean... I, to be perfectly honest, I don't think that this is, like, super hard for the difficulty. I just think the other one is super easy for the difficulty. Alright. Purple nose. Blue nose. And again, we're out of purple noses. We can replace them with any Zumbini with a non-blue nose, essentially. So you've got a red nose. You're gonna go first. Then you've got a blue nose. You're gonna go right after. So pretty simple, all in all. Bubble Wonder Abyss, more often than not, it's not super difficult. It's more just super intimidating the first time you play it. But once you realize, there's only a certain amount of grid layouts that can happen, and then after that, basically the features indicated on these switchers just change according to what your Zumbini group is like. And I, this is one of those al uh, this is one of those levels that I really wish I could see the algorithm for generating the grid. I think that would be really awesome. But I'm also a programming fanatic, so... Well, not fanatic. I, I'm enthusiastic and passionate about programming, but I'm not like, oh, need to see all the source code for these games I'm playing. But yeah, that's oh so hard. How? Oh so hard for Bubble Wonder Abyss is done! Thank you so much for watching, I'm Colorful Arty. I hope that solution will help you in your future with Zumbinis. And tune in next time, we're going to Very Hard, and that's where things get... A little dicey. Hope to see you then. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.